Hey everyone, it's Elaine, and thanks for coming back to my channel. I greatly appreciate it. Today, I have these five journals. Well, I can't exactly call them all journals yet. But, let's say five covers <laughs> that are in different stages of completion. But what I wanted to show you, and let me dig down in here, the journals are made of either that kind of crinkly envelope, or the kind of this kind of packaging okay now if you watch my channel you know a while back I did a journal and I used the cuff link as a closure man I got lots of comments and people sending me private messages and stuff about that it was so much fun I had never seen that done before and what's so good about it because these envelopes all have some give that it's to me perfect for a cuff. I'm going to put these to the side and of course as you can see there's nothing nothing done <laughs> um, so let's see here different stages um, this one too now this one See if you can see it it is the yellow packaging so it's even a little bit different than the other two um, I do have my inside and outside covers um, they are sewn on I usually try to do a zigzag stitch I have troubles with zigzags sometimes and then these two covers or excuse me these two um, are kind of already put together I've tried to use um, a wide variety of papers. Now this one actually was a digital that the paper slid and only this much went on to the second page. So guess what? I'm not wasting it. And here again this is where I pieced together um, two psalm, um, excuse me, songs out of a song book you know in the church so that the pages went the right way. I know that's going to be blueprint some typing, this com some construction, um, a paper that I did with lines on it. I took apart an old book. And remember, there's that stencil out there too that will allow you to do these lines. I've shown that before to you all as well. It's on Amazon. Or you can get on your printer, your computer and your printer, and make your own. Um, there's some of my coffee stained paper that I did on some kind of little slicky paper that I had just to see how it would come out. From a Monopoly game. As we all know, us junk journalers like to use all kinds of papers. So, um, anyhow, that one's just not sewn in, but it's pretty much ready to go. Hold on a second. Sissy wants up here in my lap. Oh, no, she don't. She wants to play. She just ran away. Um, so, this one I probably will do something else in here. Maybe add some kind of pocket. I don't mind it necessarily, but it's a little dark compared to the cover. Um... But anyhow, so this was a digital that I printed two-sided. That was some kind of poster that I tore apart. And that's a digital, some um, paper from work, some form. Again, um, paper that I did two-sided. And these are a lot of different digitals that I've come across through the years. Can't always tell you who they were from, but I liked them. And this one kind of was a... A bit of a woodsland, woodlands kind of theme. There's some more writing paper. Okay. And uh, so that's that one. It still has to be sewn in. And then this one is, I think, pretty much completely finished. Um, I did embellish. You'll be surprised at the things that you can just find laying around. Um, and you can see here, my paper crinkled a little bit from being puffy. But I don't mind it. Uh, that was a book page. And then I did a digital on top of it. Again, printed two-sided digital. This is a coffee filter. And I know I'm going fast. But this was a digital that I cut down with a piece of ephemera out of a pack that I had purchased. Some of my book paper. Look how pretty that is. I just love it when I do my coffee-stained paper. It is also very therapeutic to me. And that was a digital card. I want to say that might have been a Tim Holtz, but not positive. Just a little old piece of lace scrap. Don't throw those scraps away. They will come in handy. And then here, this is just 
I have a box that I throw all kinds of odds and ends in. And if I'm going to do what I call a real junk journal, nothing fancy, nothing themed, I will go into that box and this, okay? Okay. And then this was a sample card and I just covered up the top of it with some, this was a digital. And then this was a piece of, of ephemera that I have no idea where I got it from. And then I asked before about my friend's snippet roll um, that she went over like five times altogether. It was the old calculator tape that was like this big. And when she got finished, it was this big. Um, and again, this is a digital. That is not a blueprint paper, but it's like they did an aerial. And of course, you just need it for the base. These are all digitals. There's my book pages. These digitals, I turned them into pockets. This was an old calendar that I just did a digital on it. And when I blew it up, it the pixels wasn't right. But I kind of like the way it's all faded. And I did it two-sided. And there we go. And remember, this is on packing paper. The cover is packing paper. Packing paper. <laughs> I think that cover, since it's not so crinkly, is the brown. It's just a little smaller. So anyhow, so that is my next set of journals that um, I'm going to be working on. I've really been enjoying just doing the one single signature. If you remember, too, a while back I did some green a lot. of fun um i think my computer is kind of messing up on me so i hope all that was good um and uh remember that if i'm going to put up a video i'm going to do it on tuesday evening i haven't been able to do one every tuesday for a little while things have been a little crazy but you can find me on facebook i have my own page a group um and then my private facebook as well and then remember Etsy shop and uh, I do have a retreat group that you can um, send me a note and we'll talk about and with that being said I appreciate you and I will catch you in the next video and uh, you behave going down the road bye